Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is The Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. Beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. And hey, hey, Kat's back. Hey, I'm alive. The dryer finally showed up. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, you know, have the fun of getting a new dryer is waiting for it to show up. Anybody who's waited on delivery services knows that. But hey, it's there. It is like... It's so cool to have a new dryer. I've actually never had like a new dryer before. I've always bought used, right? And, oh, and I was yeah, like, yeah. this thing, I was like, it sings to me when I open the door. Oh, it wow. sings to me when the clothes are dry. Like, it, <laughs> I was like, it senses things and tells me like I don't have to like run it three times. It's amazing. Yes. <laughs> I like the singing part though. Yeah. I know, but I love that it sings for me. Oh, yeah. Yep. yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They got them all modified and everything really good now. <laughs> Absolutely. How was your weekend? Uh, my weekend was good. Um, yeah. Uh, we just been, she's it's just been going one thing after another. Started last week. Uh, Monday was our first rehearsal for mm-hmm. the Lady Pirates of Captain Bree. Uh, at least for me, it was the mm-hmm. first one. Mm-hmm. Was it Monday or Wednesday? Wednesday. Oh, I think it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, I, they all flow together. The days nowadays. It all the starts to run together and all that. Yeah. And everything's just flowing on me now. <laughs> and then when I take on something like this project, it's like you know, because I'm playing the old pirate in and everything yeah. I got, and it was mm-hmm. fun. It was cool. We'll be doing more rehearsals as we get up there. And... Tend to increase those as time goes on, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what they're doing is there are several things going on where they have to cancel, postpone the one that was going to be on the 30th, you know, that weekend. So oh. it's just going to be in June. So I can get that out there and let everybody know that. Oh, good but to But that's cool. We'll have mm-hmm. a lot more time to rehearse and everything. Because like I said, I think I was one of the ones that came on, like one of the last characters to come on board. So. Man, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as it were. Time is needed to rehearse a play sometimes. Mm-hmm. So. so did that oh. last week and... Uh, it was Junior's birthday last week on Tuesday. I took him up to Aww. the river and went fishing. And I was going to ask Dave, was it not allowed to fish on the river? Um, la, 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 la. You know, that, I, 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 I'm in my off because you know what we did. We threw it in and it went down the stream a couple times. And he just uh-huh. we went to Social Security Bar. Uh-huh. And he just wanted to throw it. Oh. What he wanted to do on his birthday. But I didn't have you on board the, that Monday to <laughs> ask you what they're thinking. And I was like going... Is it legal now or not? I said, well, I'll find it. Oh, like, kid, of course. Lord. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I took him out there, but he got Exception. It wasn't the pond like we did before. You know, he was like, hey, he's discouraged really quick because it just kept going down and it felt like there was a fish on there. And he's like, Papa, I don't like this river fishing thing. And I go, well, if it was calmer waters, that's cool. But you wanted to come out and it was that hot day. So it was cool because we like left and went someplace where there was air conditioning. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I had some fun. So it was cool. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, he didn't like that too much, so I got to take him out to a pond next time and everything. But I got him a fishing pole and all that for his birthday, so it was mm. cool. Mm. But yeah, that was it. But listen, last weekend, oh man, it was the PGA Tour going on. NASCAR had their thing going on. PBA Bowling had a championship going on. Yeah, I was in a, yeah in between uh, working on the paper and around the park that I work at and everything. It's like, yeah, we... Uh, you got to have fun in between. So that's what we did right there. So, yeah. Now, did you do anything besides have fun with your dryer this weekend? Can't oh, my we? gosh. Yeah. No, so, like, the dryer got installed on Monday. but the, I, So I did have the weekend to actually, like, have a weekend and, oh. like, not have to worry about getting caught up on laundry. But, uh, yeah, no, we had uh, the United Way Day of Caring was on Saturday. That's so right. Okay. Yep. And uh, Team 3 Penny had a little crew that went out and we uh, we helped out. We needed this huge, like, gully in this backyard. And really? I felt, like, so cool. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I got that little thing going so, did it. Did yeah, it. no, I felt super hardcore doing that. And then, yeah, no, just busted our butts weed eating and weeding. And I could barely move my arms the next day because, like, I was like, I was like, I can still feel my arms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it was good. It was a good time. And uh, it was a gorgeous day for it, too. Yeah. It was, it was good. beautiful. It, it, it wasn't day. too hot on that day. Either. No, yeah. It was like, I do. coming through. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, we got started early, too. So I wasn't dying and get sunburned. Yeah, it was a good day all around. Yep, yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. I know what you're talking about because I weed eat. Mm-hmm. Five big, huge yards. Mm-hmm. And, and so by the time I'm done, I'm like, hey, 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 my arms are like, you know, it's like, geez. And yeah. if I go work out that morning before, like I usually do, then yeah. I'll come in there. Then I'm really like, my arms that night, yeah. I'm going, what the heck? Are my arms are sore for. Yeah, like, definitely. I uh, had that, some that trouble lifting steady, my arms. <laughs> the steady movement of a just same movement. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> yeah, very cool. That was cool. Yeah, good weekend. I had a good weekend. It's starting to be nice. We're getting ready to have a bunch of events. I mean, it's just going to be packed here. Mm-hmm. Three Penny Theaters doing a bunch of stuff we'll be talking about and everything here in the future. And yeah, and it's getting ready for the events. So yeah, wow. I'm know. busy as busy can be. So hey, hope you all got out there and did something and had some fun this last weekend. Because like I said, we got lots of stuff coming up. To be oh, yeah. Keeping you entertained in the future here. Before we get going, I'd like to thank that Oregon South Coast Fisherman, otherwise known as the Castaways. 
Just the jeweler at Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. And if you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows we have here at KCIW, all you got to do is go to kciw.org and be on your merry way. And speaking of the castaways, our favorite castaway is here, Mr. Dave Keene with the Fishing Report. Yes, what is going on out there? We already talked about how illegal you can be. No comment on that. <laughs> and I'm not judging you at all. I, like, I, I know nothing. I hear nothing. No, I, I knew something. It's all right. It was I all may have good. broken a rule once upon a time I, I, myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, speaking of junior, though, I mean, an opportunity this Saturday morning at the Azalea Festival, the annual Kids Fishing Ponds. It's something our Oregon South Coast fishermen yeah. have done for like 40 years now. Okay. And so uh, you can bring Junior out over their grocery grocery outlet uh, parking lot and catch a trout or two. Didn't they do that this last weekend or is it this mm-hmm. it's coming up it's coming this up. weekend? This is the one coming up. Yep. Okay. Um, yeah, because we're walking in the parade. So I know that. So. Well, so if you get there at 730, you could yeah. catch a fish. Okay. Take it home if you want. I'll let him know. See yeah. Get it's it. really popular. They got everything. I know I've heard about it. Uh, yeah, every year. Yeah, we supply all the equipment. And, right on. And they just, it's like, you guys do it at the pond. That's awesome. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that's coming up. That's where we're going to set up on Friday, and the kids can fish from 7.30 to about 10, like when the parade starts. Right before the parade. We'll have it open for, yeah. for fishing. So it's going to be quite fun. Uh, so, but as far as the other fishing, have you noticed a lot of white caps out there lately? The wind's been blowing oh, yeah. a lot. So it's mm-hmm. kind of kept us at port. Mm-hmm. In port because we really are really want to get out there uh, because things are open. That's you can catch job. a Chinook salmon right now, get a halibut, oh, bottom fish, lingcod. It's all out there to be caught, but we just haven't been able to go. But soon, I think uh, coming this weekend, we'll see the the waves calming down a bit, so we'll be able to get out. And so, what's going to happen with a calm ocean on a Memorial weekend? Azalea Festival, this place will be hopping. It's going to be Our, our port will be busy, oh, busy, busy. I bet, yeah. <laughs> uh, people ask what's going on at the port. Yeah, there'll be people fishing. That's what's oh, yeah, going well, on down there. California is totally closed to salmon. Yeah. And that's, so we're close to California. Oh. So guess where they're coming? Yeah. They'll be coming here. Mm-hmm. So we'll be, we're going to be really busy probably for the summer, I'm sure. Um, but in the, oh, I was able to go to the Rogue River last week and I caught a Springer salmon. That was fun. Uh, that's going on, going off pretty well right now. A lot of spring. Chinook are being caught on the rogue, and it's a popular fishery. Mm. So pretty much when I get out there, I'll have another fish report for you. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go get some, do some catching. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and when's the river open up again? <laughs> uh, end of summer. It'll be a while. <laughs> yeah. I'll let you know, Bruce. <laughs> you, in the meantime, you have ponds to fish. I was going, oh, Dave just lives right there. I can get off his back. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> So but it's no, all good. Do we got any meetings coming up or anything like that? Let's see. The next meeting will be June 19th. Okay. Uh, the library is closed that day, so we're going to have it at the Elks Lodge, but I'm sure I'll be on hopefully your show before then okay. to talk more on fishing uh, where you are. A couple of events that we do, we will be doing the Checo River Saning uh, next month where we meet down at the port. We put a net in and pull the net and we count the number of Chinook sm- smolt. We do that five or six times throughout the month of June and July. And then we also will be setting up the Winchuck River fish trap uh, to help ODFW count uh, salmon smolt. Right. So that's a big event, so got that coming. Sweet. Yep. Well, always a pleasure having you on board, giving us the fishing report. That's right. My pleasure. Good yeah. to see you, Kat. Good to see there you. Go shake that wife of yours dancing. Yeah, it's time to hit the dance floor. <laughs> Once again, line Take dancing. She's calling my name. <laughs> <laughs> Have a yeah, good one, Dave. Scootin'. Thanks a lot. All right. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, well now let's get on with the show. Let's get some music going on here. Absolutely. Yeah. The start things off at the Elk Valley Casino at the Betty Green Event Center. Music there starting at 8 p.m. On the 25th, they're going to have Midnight Revival. And then at their Warriors Bar and Grill, where music starts at 7 p.m. on the 24th and 25th, it's Hannah Pacinger. And then on the 31st and the 1st of June, Jonathan Foster will be there. That's right. And then Black GTO is going to be playing on the 25th at Checo Brewing Company from 8 to 10. Yes. And Mike Powell is playing on the 24th at the Brookings Elks Lodge from 7 to 9. Yep. And Cisco is playing on the 25th at the Brookings Harbor Farmer's Market from 10 to 2. And then on the 28th, he'll be at the Checo Activity Center, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And then over at the Inateca in Crescent City, music starting there at 8 p.m. On the 24th, it's Hippie Death Cult. On the 25th, The Shark Tones, and on the 31st, Homegrown. Yes, indeed. Hey, and Checo Brewing Company, music starts at 6 there. On the 24th, they got Sean T. On the 25th, we got Black GTO. 
And on the 31st, we got John Allen 3. All right. And over at Oxen Free on the 28th, Way Shower is going to be playing at 8 p.m. That's right. And then at the Azalea Festival, Rock the Park, noon, they have a DJ Scott. At 1 p.m., it's the Festival Award Ceremony. At 2 p.m., at Fleetwood's Back. And then at 4 p.m., it's Boys of the Summer, that Eagles tribute. And in case of rain, just let everybody know, the music moves to the Brookings Elks Lodge. All right, good to have a backup plan. And hey, the Lucky Pirate Chop House is playing on the 25th. They're going to host RXD Sound Mixed Music running from 9 p.m. to midnight. Yes, indeedy. Mm -hmm. It's the music. All right, and then getting into events here. We're starting things off at the Checo Library in Brookings. They have a slate of weekly events happening. And then on Tuesdays at 11 a.m., it's story time. That's story songs and simple crafts for young children. And at 1.30 p.m., they have a chair yoga class. Uh, and then a note here on Thursdays right now, their 2.45 chair yoga class is actually not happening for the time being. It will be back soon. On Fridays at 4 p.m., they have Hora del Cuento. That's stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children, all led in Spanish. And for their slate of monthly and special events on the 28th at 5.30 p.m., they're having a game night at Checo Brewing Co. This is an all-ages open game night that features games from the library's board game collection, hosted by Checo Brewing Company on Railroad Street. You can try a game from the library or bring one of your favorites to share. This is a free and fun opportunity to meet and connect with other board game enthusiasts in the community. Game night happens every second and fourth Tuesdays of the month. And then from the 23rd through the 27th, they're going to have the Azalea Festival book sale. You can join the Friends of the Checo Library for this community tradition of fun finds and great deals on used books. The book sale runs on the following dates and times. On Thursday, it's 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. On Friday, 10 to 4. Saturday, 10 to 4. And then on Sunday, they kick off their bag sales running from noon to 3 p.m. It's $3 per bag. They do say please bring your own bags. And then on Monday and Tuesday, it's Honor Day running from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Essentially take what you want, pay what you can. And then on the 30th of May, they have Lego Club at 4 p.m. Lego builders of all ages are invited to an open building session in the library's youth section. And of course, they like to let people know about their slate of library book clubs that happen every month. On the 31st at 2 p.m., it's Roll for Reading Book Club. This is a new monthly book club for fans of the fantasy genre. And all library-led programs and events are free to attend whether or not you have a library card. For more information, you can visit checkcolibrary.org and check out their events calendar. You can follow them on Facebook for updates, or you can give them a call at 541-469-7738. Yes, indeedy. Mm -hmm. Well, Azalea Garden Senior Living at 755 Elk Drive is an annual chalk art walk. This is happening on the 24th through the 26th from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Azalea Garden Senior Living is excited to announce the first annual Chalk Art Walk. This event is open to everyone and admission is free. They will be providing chalk, so all you need to do is bring your creativity and imagination. Come and showcase your artistic skills and create something beautiful on their sidewalks. They encourage all ages to participate and they can't wait to see what you come up with. The grand prize winner will be selected by Azalea Garden residents on May 27th. All ages are invited to this fun-filled event. Very cute. And hey, Abigail's Events at 519 Checo Avenue is having a floral float decorating pre-parade pre-party on the 24th of May from 3.30 to 9.30. You don't have to submit an entry into the Azalea Parade in order to participate this year. Purchase a bundle of flowers and put your creativity to work. Their float will be suited up and ready for your artistic touch. On Saturday, when the float comes by, you can pat yourself on the back and admire your work in helping to decorate their flower house. Danielle and Ohana will be performing from 5 to 6.30, so get ready to get your groove on. They also have an assortment of kebabs, hot dogs, salads, fruits, veggies, and sides available for purchase. And they'll also have complimentary popcorn and beer, wine, lemonade, and soda is available for purchase at this event. And hey, and now it's time for quotes from famous people with Cousin Bruce. Yeah, hey, here are a few quotes from Queen Victoria. She was born May 24th, 1819. She says, great events make me quiet and calm. It is only trifles that irritate my nerves. The important thing is not what they think of me, <laughs> but what I think of them. <laughs> I like that one. Mm -hmm. Hey, she is, we are not interested in the possibilities of defeat. They do not exist. She was, mm -hmm. she was hardcore. <laughs> and last but not least, she says, I would venture to warn against too great intimacy with artists. It is very seductive and a little dangerous. 
Hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from Queen Victoria with Cousin Bruce. Till next week, have a great one. You got to watch out for those artists, man. They're dangerous. And, and I think she was the. I think she was the queen that, like, yeah, she yeah. she was. She She's liked, spicy. She liked men. <laughs> She's spicy. Yeah, she was spicy. <laughs> Love it. All right, the Lucky Seven Casino is presenting Josh Grayson in concert. This is going to be on the twenty fourth of May at eight p.m. Doors for that event open at seven p.m. And you might know Josh Grayson from season two of American Idol or by his hits Nothing to Lose, I Want to Live, and You're on Fire. Josh Grayson takes the stage Friday at Lucky 7 Casino and Hotel's Tolua Event Center. Tickets are available online at eventbrite.com as well as on the day of the show. you got to be 21 or older to attend this event, though. Yeah, there you go. And we have the 82nd Annual Azalea Festivals coming up here this weekend from 24th to 27th, featuring the family events. Food, parade, shows, street market concerts, and a dance party. Now, for more info and a full schedule, you can go to azaleafestivalbrookingsoregon.com. And people are asking me all the time, you know, is there anything going down at the port? And there is one thing going down at the port that happens every year. It's been going on for a while. We were talking about this, Slugs and Stones. They've been doing this, I don't know how many years, but they have their 30th anniversary this year. So Mm -hmm. this thing might have been going that long, but... They got their annual slug race going on down there, slug yeah. stones. And it's cool. It starts at 2 p.m. And uh, that says, bring slugs or we'll rent them. <laughs> <laughs> they'll rent you some slugs. If you don't have your own slugs, uh, yeah, they'll rent you one. And hopefully they'll rent you a speedy one. I know, right? So there you go. But that's going to be happening down there. That is yeah. something going on. Uh, I love that that's still happening. I worked yeah. there back in the day. They were doing it even back when I was working there in my teens. So good. I'm, glad that, me, I'm yeah. glad that tradition is still going on. That's fun. Yeah, that's Very great. fun. And also, uh, speaking of stuff happening in the port, another thing happening down there over the festival is that the Curry County Cruisers are having their 30th annual car show. This is going to happen at Zola's on the Water at 16330 Lower Harbor Road. And the judged car show consists of the following, a meet and greet on the 25th at Zola's at 4 o'clock. And then on the 26th, registration happens from 7.30 to 10.30 a.m. And judging takes place from 9 a.m. to 11.30. Awards will be given out at 3 p.m. And all proceeds go to charities and organizations in the Brookings Harbor area. For information about this event, you can contact Lori at 530-739-9717. So, see, there's a couple of things going on down there. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. The tradition holds through. There we go. Hey, Manly Art Senate is having the Azalea Festival Art Show and Sale. This is happening on the 25th from noon to 6, and then on the 26th from noon to 5. Live music, kids' activities, art demos, special raffle, and a silent auction. All right, very cool. And now it's time for a bit of weird history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right. G'day, cat. G'day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's bit of weird history for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know that there was a London beer flood in 1814? It's true. Here's the story. On Monday, 17th, October 1814, a terrible disaster claimed the lives of at least eight people in St. Giles, London. A bizarre industrial accident resulted in the release of a beer tsunami onto the streets around Tottenham Court Road. The Horseshoe Brewery stood at the corner of the Great Russell Street and Tottenham Court Road, and in 1810 the brewery, Mowen Company, had a 22-foot high wooden fermentation tank installed on the premises. Held together with massive iron rings, this huge vat held the equivalent of over 3,500 barrels of brown porter ale, a beer not unlike stout. On the afternoon of October 17, 1814, one of the iron rings around the tank snapped, and about an hour later the whole tank ruptured, releasing the hot fermenting ale with such force that the back wall of the brewery collapsed. The force also blasted open several more vats, adding their contents to the flood, which now burst forth onto the street. More than 320,000 gallons of beer were released into this area. This was St. Giles Rookery, a densely populated London slum of cheap housing and tenements. The flood reached George Street and New Street within minutes, swamping them with a tide of alcohol. The 15-foot high wave of beer and debris inundated in the basement of two houses, causing them to collapse. In one of the houses, Mary Banfield and Jaw Hannah were taking tea when the flood hit. Both were killed. And in the basement of the other house, an Irish wake was being held for a two-year-old boy who had died the previous day. The four mourners were all killed, and then the wave also took out the wall of Tavistock Arms Pub, trapping the teenage barmaid Eleanor Cooper in the rubble. In all, eight people were killed. Three brewery workers were rescued from the waist-high flood, and another was pulled alive from the rubble. 
All this free beer led to hundreds of people scooping up the liquid in whatever containers they could. Some resorted to drinking it, leading to the reports of the death of a ninth victim some days later from alcoholic poisoning. Hope you enjoyed this week's Bitter Weird History with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Till next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. You know, we had one in America, the, the molasses. <laughs> yeah, the molasses. The molasses that's one insane, did the same too. Yeah, 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 yeah. did. Yeah. Boy. That yeah. stuff's no joke, too. No, like, it's like it sounds bizarre, but it's horrifying. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Beer at least would be easier to clean up than the molasses, you would oh, think. Oh, yeah, though. no, no that kidding. Boy, yeah. like, woo. Still, yeah. I saw that and never heard of it before. That was a new one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's that's crazy. Mm-hmm. No. Well, hey, on to Flying Higher here with the Brookings <laughs> Flying Club. They're presenting Airport Day. This is their annual scholarship fundraiser event. And it's happening at the Brookings Airport on the 26th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., And weather permitting, it's going to feature airplane and helicopter rides over Brookings. And for information about this event, you can go to brookingsflyingclub.org or you can give them a call at 541-412-5103. Yeah, weather permitting. And it looks like it's going to be permitting because it's supposed to be really beautiful this weekend. Mm -hmm. I'm looking Mm -hmm. forward to it, especially because I got to walk in the parade. (laughs) Yeah, totally. Yeah, here's hoping. (laughs) We don't need to get flooded out now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, hey, yeah, we got a Sunday fun day at Azaria Park. This is happening on the 26th, 11.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Fun times and happy music in the theme of the day for Sunday Fun Day at the Azalea Park. Enjoy the hands-on interactive activities and performances by members of Circus Nature's Three Rings of Play from 12 to 2.45 p.m. Followed by the high-energy, comedic, hillbilly rock and roll of the Rock Bottom Boys at 3 p.m. The Brookings Harbor Rotary Club will offer food and drinks all day starting at 11.30 a.m., and thank you for your platinum sponsors, Road Credit Union, Travel Curry Coast, and the City of Brookings. All right. And hey, the Brookings Harbor Garden Club is presenting a flower show and plant sale happening at the Brookings Botanical Garden. That's at Highway 101 in North Bank, where they meet up. And then on the 26th, it's going from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. On the 27th, it's going to go from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And there's free admission and, hey, raffle baskets as well. And hey, the Wild Rivers Film Festival is presenting the film Art Thief. This is a special pre-festival film screening event happening on the 27th. That's Monday from 7 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. This is happening at the Redwood Theater. And again, this is a special pre-screening of the crime thriller Art Thief. This is a one-night only event. You can top off your Azalea Festival celebrations and Memorial Day weekend with a night at the movies. Funds raised through this preseason event will all go to support the Wild Rivers Film Festival's first ever summer filmmaking workshop for area youth. And what's this film about? It's after stealing a painting from a local museum, a passionate but untalented artist is thrust into the midst of an even bigger art theft. The story behind Art Thief was inspired by the real 1990 robbery of the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston, and that was the world's largest property theft. This thriller, starring Max Deacon and Jacqueline Emerson, known for the Hunger Games franchise, it screened on opening night of the 2023 Orlando Film Festival and just played at the Boston International Film Festival and has been picking up plenty of awards. Don't miss your chance to catch an early screening of this very buzzworthy indie film. And tickets for this event are just $15 a person. You can get tickets in advance in person at either Four Castle Books or at Wright's Custom Framing. Tickets are also available online at wildriversfilmfestival.com, and they are going fast. But any unsold tickets will be available for sale when the doors open on the night of the event. Sweet. And I got a little something to add to that. I don't know if you knew or not, but you know who's going to be our guest. Did you hear about that? Amanda Whitmore, I've seen her at the gym today, too. Uh And I said, hey. I know that thing has happened, and she's coming in to talk to us on that night. It's happening. Yeah, goes, the star oh. of the film's going to be there yeah. doing a Q&A event, and yeah, she's going to be stopping in for some some radio. Talking to us here, yeah, yeah. talking to yeah. us, and Very we'll be exciting. pushing her August one, is what I said. Right? I said, mm-hmm. well, the thing doesn't air until Wednesday, but mm-hmm. we'll be pushing the showing in August and everything. But yeah. we're going to have a movie star here on board with us. I'm looking forward to that. It's going to yeah. be very cool. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yeah, really cool big. things happening with that event. So yeah, even more has been happening since that press release went out. So yeah, cool. If you want a Q&A with an actual like person who starred in a movie, get your tickets for this event. It's cool. Yeah. Hey, the Lucky 7 Casino is presenting Mega Trivia. This is happening on the 31st at 7 p.m. in the Tallow Event Center. There is a buy-in per person, four rounds of 12 questions, raffle prizes, plus food and drink specials. Winning team splits the prize pool, plus $100 cash added to each round. 
First come, first serve, limited seating is available. All righty. And over at the Curry Public Library in Gold Beach, they have a monthly event called Memory Cafe Curry. Memory Cafe Curry will meet the third Wednesday of every month from 10.30 a.m. to noon. That's at the Curry Public Library in Gold Beach. To register for the program, they ask that you email memorycafe at cplib.net or give the library a call at 541-247-7246. A Memory Cafe is an informal social gathering for older adults living with memory loss as well as their care partners. Care partners may include, but are not limited to, spouses, siblings, children, or friends whose social lives are often just as affected as their loved ones. Memory cafes are designed to be a casual, stress-free gathering to allow care partners the opportunity to relax and socialize with others in a similar situation. Memory Cafe Curry will be staffed by a qualified social service provider, as well as library staff and volunteers. Very cool, very cool. Hey, KCIW's got the Soapbox Series going on. They're giving folks a chance to speak their mind on a show called the KCIW Soapbox. So basically, the KCIW is offering two minutes of airtime to anyone who has something to say. There are a few rules, of course, no cussing, no slattering, no advertising. But other than that, folks can share what's on their mind. The studio is open every Wednesday from 2 to 3 for people to come in, say something positive, mm-hmm. something not positive, whatever. Just go on, speak mind. your piece, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there you go. And hey, game nights are going on at the Whimsical Griffin. That's at 615 Checo Avenue by the Redwood Theater. They happen every Tuesday and every Friday from 5 to 9, and it features such games as Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, and of course, board games. And one more here, they got the Meals on Wheels looking for volunteers. Meals on Wheels are in need of volunteer drivers. They deliver about 75 hot meals daily to seniors that can't get to the Checkco Activity Center for the daily meal served there. There's a Harbor Route and a Brookings Route, and this is a perfect opportunity for anyone out there that wants to give back to the community and be a friendly face to deliver a hot meal and a little kindness to our local seniors. So whether you're interested in doing a day, a week, or a month, all volunteers are welcome. This is very important. If you'd like to volunteer, please contact Debbie Lutz at 714-423-9797. Yeah, that's a good cause going on there, that's for sure. So Mm -hmm. if you're out there and you're going, hey, that sounds perfect for me, then you contact Debbie. There you go. Okay. All right. Well, we got it done. We made it through it. It's, now it's time to close out this week's show. Before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to our fearless producer, Brother Tom and Brother Ray, for all their great work making us look and sound good on the radio. And I want to thank you all for tuning in to this week's Insider Report. And please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer. You can catch all the fantastic show podcasts, including the Insider Report going to kciw.org and while you're there you can check out the live streaming as well hey until next week this is cousin bruce ellis and i'm kat liddell we are signing off please support local businesses and keep it real and spread the love and the peace every chance you get and hey we'll, we'll see, see you out, out there, there. Bam. Bam. Music credits for the preceding show go to kciw.org slash credits.